Okay, so let's see a simple example about Born's force. Okay, suppose there is an air conditioning system. It requires a 20 meter long section of 15 cm diameter dust work to be laid underwater. And we need to determine the upward force the water will exert on the dust. Okay, so here is the schematic of this situation. Okay. Okay, here we will make some assumptions because we are only given one diameter, but we don't know whether it's the inner diameter or the outer diameter. So we will just assume that. We will just assume that the dots have uh, zero thickness. Okay, we will just assume the dots have zero thickness so that uh, we can take this D right away. And we also neglect the weight of the dots. Okay, neglect the weight of the dots. Okay, so in this case, why we neglect the weight of the dots? Because actually we know that the weight of the dots will also contribute to some of the bond force. But we will just consider the part that is occupied by the air, okay? So that the upward force, well, is just the bond force. Okay, so the bond force is given by this row. This row should be the fluid, the density of the fluid that surrounds that object. So here, the density should be of water times g times v. Okay, times g times v. And after that, we will substitute some values. Okay, rho wg, then volume, because it is a cylinder, so it will be equal to the area of that circle, pi d squared divided by 4, because we are given the diameter times l. Okay. The last thing is we substitute those values into this equation, pi sin, okay? Because it's a 15 cm, so we will convert it to 0 0.15 squared divided by 4, okay? Times 20, that would be the length of this dot. And after that, you will calculate that to be 3470 Newton, correct to three significant figures, okay? Well, as long as you substitute those values that are in SI units, then the final one should also be in SI units, okay? So you will see that sometimes I may neglect uh, the units here, okay? So because I know that I have converted it, all of them, to the corresponding SI units, so that the final one should be in its SI units accordingly, okay? So that, uh, well, this force is actually quite large, so that we need to pay special attention to this kind of bond force, okay? When the dust has been put underwater, okay? So that's the end of example five, okay?